it depends. Like sometimes it's little things, sometimes it's like nothing at all. Uh, it can be like a bad day, it can be being overwhelmed by like pressures or something. You know, the obvious stuff. But yeah, uh, it, it absolutely varies. Shite that goes on in your life, that is inevitable. I'm not sure, usually when I'm very stressed, like, I don't, I don't really know what causes it, but just... Everything really, <laughs> it depends on the day. Possibly unfulfilling goals towards myself, and possibly, um, I just want to please others a lot, I'm a people pleaser. Overthinking, usually sometimes when I talk to someone, or I just say something on Twitter and I don't get a like instantly. I just start overthinking it like, oh, did I say something wrong? Basically, I'm just like a big worrier. So I worry about everything. Um, and then that causes it to get a bit worse. Different things in my life and college are the balance between that. And then sometimes it's just all college deadlines at the time, night before they're due, or like, you know, when I'm kind of like in the middle of all my notes and shit. And really confusing myself, then it kicks off, or big time with my pieces just because there's no like release. You think about an essay and then you think about the five other essays you have after that and then your chest gets tight and your palms get sweaty. Like, okay, so I'd be really paranoid that like the door's not locked or like the hobs are on because my parents be really old so I'd be really paranoid like the house is on fire or they left a candle on or the fire or something so I'd always be that kind of person. Anything, you know, sometimes just basic social exchange, you know, saying hello to somebody and then maybe not saying hello back in what you deem to be an appropriate way. <laughs> that can trigger it, so yeah, all sorts really. It makes me feel just not really myself. Bunched up tight, you know, as if my whole body is kind of receding a little bit. Like electricity always in your system, but like not like going anywhere, so it's like an energy that isn't like being used for anything other than like your brain is using it and it's really annoying. It just makes me feel really like incomplete. Makes me feel a bit vulnerable and smaller. Like someone standing with a, kind of like a boot like this, like a big fucking chunky boot, just like standing on my chest and weighing it down the whole time and there is kind of no like release of that, it's more just like you stop noticing it so much but that's constantly there so even if like in the height of it your ear anxiety can be really like someone's pressing down your chest and then if you get over a bit and go to work or go hang out with your friends it's almost like that weight is released a little bit but the boot is still very much very much on your chest <laughs> nervous and like something's gonna happen but you have no idea what that thing is that's gonna happen is you know the term anxiety is so like nuanced like it's there's it's hard to describe uh, like a personal anxiety because like everyone has their own kind of special brand of it. It does make me feel uh, really sick and like really nervous and like I need to go for a walk or a run. Maybe not a run, run or not a run, but more like a walk. It makes me feel nervous. Very like out of my depth is how I describe it. The best way I can describe it, and I always try and describe it in these terms, is it feels like my mind is at once going really, really fast and really, really slow, you know? And it feels like the external world is just moving very, very slowly around me, while internally my mind is just firing off in all directions, you know? And this creates a kind of a, for me, a disconnect between myself and the world. And that can, oh, even speaking about that makes me feel like a bit weird. So yeah, that can be really, really just not nice. But yeah, that's kind of, how my anxiety feels mostly. And if it had a noise. If it had a sound. If it had a sound. Um... I think it would be a scream like, ah! <laughs> you know, like just really aggravating, you know, just this sound in my head saying, don't do that, don't do this, that's wrong, blah, blah. I mean, probably just the sound of the inside of my head, which is the sound of like a hundred million voices at once, like, uh, yeah. Just kind of like, if, if compression, you could have a sound. If you imagine your head being compressed and what that would sound like, or like what would sound like that from inside your head. It's like, you know when someone drops something in a restaurant or a pub and like it's a big crash and then there's like a really awkward silence and then there's like a like slow clap and then people are going way. That's what it sounds like. I suppose like a balloon that's about to pop but hasn't popped yet. 
that like split second before it actually pops or something. Do you know when you're like in a nightclub and you're like sitting on the toilet and you're bollocks and you just hear everyone outside the cubicle just talking and like it's almost like they have like a reverb in their voice. Yeah, like that. If you had like if you have an electric shower and the water's not coming out, it goes from like to like that sound. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. So funny. <laughs> Usually how I relieve my anxiety is just by talking to someone, honestly. Counting, getting my breathing on the wraps, you know. Sometimes it's as simple as just kind of lying down on my bed in the fetal position for a few minutes and, you know, just slowing things down, just getting my mind back under wraps. Just taking a breather, like realizing at the end of the day, like things are going to get better. You're not always going to feel that way. I know, it definitely takes a long time to relieve it and it usually requires me calling someone and then like, crying and not being able to breathe and crying at the same time. You have to try and relax. I like to block out my visuals and put music on and just kind of take a few minutes to myself. I would make loads of lists, like as in if I was really anxious because of college, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to make a list of all the things I have to do. Or if I was really, really down in the dumps and I was getting anxious because of it, I'd make a list of all the things I want to do in my life, or maybe not my life, but even the weekend. I've worked up kind of mantras over time, so really cheesy mantras that I would speak to myself, like things that I want to be, um, which I won't say right now, but I would sp speak them back to myself to reassure myself that I have like a long-term goal in life and like somewhere that I'm going, and you know, that this next two to ten minutes of anxiety is not actually the be-all and end-all right now, so yeah, you have to get some long-term plan towards controlling it but in the short term just a bit of reading really yeah works for me that's it sweet that's perfect kudos nice okay that's everything cool perfect that's it that's it that's everything yeah cool thank you so much yeah,